And what I recommend with all these types of problems is just to draw a sketch. So if you draw a sketch, sometimes it'll help you to figure out the other pieces of the puzzle. So let's go ahead and do that. So first thing we have is, okay, we've got a coordinate axis and we know our foci are at two, okay, plus or minus two root five comma two. So we know we're gonna be going up two here, okay, that's the y value, but then we're gonna be going two root five to the right, okay, and we're gonna be going two root five to the left. Those are the foci, okay, and this is the center. Okay, so you can see the center is gonna be at two comma two, okay, because it's halfway in between the foci, and we know that our hyperbola is gonna look something like this, and like this approximately okay so now let's put together what we know so far so we know that x minus 2 squared plus minus for hyperbolas plus for ellipses y minus 2 squared equals 1 okay so we've got our center 2 2 the x squared term is the positive term that comes first when it's opening left and right. If the hyperbola is opening up and down, then the y squared term would come first. Okay, so are you with me so far? And then what we're trying to do now is we're trying to find the denominators, okay, the a squared and the b squared. Okay, now we look at our asymptotes here and we can notice that the slope is 2 and plus or minus 2 over 1. Anything divided by 1 is itself. And we know that the ratio of the quantity that's underneath the y term divided by the x term is going to be the slope of the asymptote. So this is going to be the rise and this is going to be the run. Now if these terms were reversed then we want to take the term here, okay, the one that's underneath the y value divided by the one underneath the x value. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say alright this is a squared, this is b squared. We want to do b divided by a. b divided by a equals we're just gonna do two, okay, for right now. So if I solve for b by cross multiplying, I get b equals two a, all right? And we know with hyperbolas, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, just like Pythagorean theorem, right? Okay, we know that c is the distance from the center to the full side, that's c, okay? And we know that c is two square root five. So we have two square root five squared equals a squared plus, okay, and then b equals two times a, so this is gonna be two times a squared. Okay, so you're with me so far? So if we square this, we're gonna get two squared is four, square root of five squared is five, so this comes out to 20, equals a squared plus four a squared, because two a times two a. This gives us five a squared equals 20, divided by five, and we can see that a squared equals 4, or you could say a equals 2. Now if we put 2 back in here, you can see that b is going to equal 4. So if we substitute those values back in, if a is 2, a squared would be 4, so let's just cross this out, this is 4, and b squared is uh, going to be 4 squared, which is 16. So those